Hi guys, Rishit Shah from Tally School and welcome to the second part of payroll in Tally. In the first part, we have seen how to create employee categories, employee groups and employees in Tally. Okay, um, so much horning outside. <laughs> so in this part, we are going to see how you can create units for work, attendance, production types and pay heads in Tally. So this is the second part. If you have not watched or seen the first part, you should see the first part because without seeing the first part, you will not be able to understand the second part as well because they are connected. We are going through single example in all the parts. There are total four parts that I'm creating here right now. This is the second part. So we have taken one single example. We have created two employees, Kajal and Ajay. And uh, I have explained everything about the example also in the first part. So please see the first part. Otherwise, I'm not just uh, trying to get more views, but you will not be able to understand. And I cannot explain everything again in this video because these videos are already very long. The first part, I wanted it to make it to 20 minutes, but it 15 to 20, but it became 25 minutes because I was explaining everything in a detail. So not to make videos any longer in this video, we will going to see how you can create units in tally. So we have cre already created employees in tally. Let me just reload this page because the images have not loaded perfectly. So let it reload and I will just uh, fast forward this part of reloading if the images don't load perfectly okay so now here we will see how you can create units for work attendance production types and pay heads in tally i have linked this post in the description of youtube video so if you want to see this post everything i've written it here with instructions with pictures so you can come here and see it let's go ahead and let's see how you can create units for work attendance and production types and pay heads in tally so units for work are required to calculate the amount of salary and to calculate the attendance as well units for work are used when you are calculating the salary on the basis of hours worked or days worked by default there are units in tally for an employee to calculate the salary but if you we are calculating the salary or wages of workers on the basis of hours there are certain jobs in which workers or employees work on the basis of hours and they get paid on the basis of hours they have worked so if you want to calculate that we can create units in tally and we will be creating units in tally for that they are called also called compound units because we will be going to mix days and hours and create a day of 10 hours a day is not of 10 hours but for work it is of 10 hours so it is one day of 10 hours it is a compound unit so let's go into tally and create units for work so once you've enabled payroll in tally you will see the payroll info option under the accounts info option we'll go in there and we have already created these three in the first part of this video okay so we will now be creating units work or units for work in tally for employees so you have to go into this option in payroll info menu and we can see create display alter you have to go to create because you have to create the units i've already created the units so when you when you go into the create option you will see a small screen like this i've already created the unit so i'll go into my units that i have created and show you what you have to do so i'll go to alter and then days first we'll create days so what you have to do is uh, just symbol uh, the type days here against the option of a symbol type days because we want to create days and formal name if you want to put you can put anything here as a formal name but it is not required generally not applicable uqc's these are for gst purposes so we'll select not applicable and number of decimal places two so after the days let's say 10 days to so 10.00 that is two zeros means two decimal places generally we keep it to two because might be useful in the future otherwise it is not 
any way coming in between our walk so put it to two we can use it in the future and if we don't want to use that's cool okay so type days and select two here and press enter and that's how you can create days similarly in the exact same way we have to create hours so simple hours two that's it go ahead and create both the units now we have created both the units because we want to create a compound unit that is a day of 10 hours which i have already created so i'll go in there what you have to do is let me show you by going in the create option go to create if you are in the create now you can notice your type is simple already selected by tally what we have to do is press backspace or click on it and select the type as compound because we are going to mix the two units the two simple units that we have created to create one compound unit or one single unit for work so select compound and you will see the menu like this now in the first unit you have to select days first unit so i'll select days conversion is um, the conversion factor so let's say we have to create 10 hour days or days of 10 hours so we'll select conversion as 10 and in second unit we will select hours so you can see days of 10 hours this is how you can confirm otherwise many people get confused and they might create hours of 10 days but first unit is always bigger second unit is smaller so you can remember that way also days of 10 hours you can remember that way also the off written here is for that so days conversion 10 hours it might be possible that in your company or wherever you are working the days are of 8 hours or 12 hours depending upon how much the shift is so you can change that to 12 8 9 whatever you want and create the unit so i've already created the unit i'll not accept it but you can create like that so this is how the units for work are created we have created a one single unit of a compound unit and two simple units now let me go into the post and we are working according to the post because it gives a clear-cut guideline as to how we should proceed so now we have created the units i've already explained everything in the post as well whatever i have just explained in the video right now now we are going to create an attendance and production types in tally so attendance and production types are required to create the attendance voucher we are going to create or we will be going to create two different vouchers at the end that is in the fourth part when we finally create everything and just the voucher entry is needed or the salary entry is needed attendance type in the attendance type we define the days and everything related to the attendance or of the employees or production of the employees production type is also a kind of attendance type but for production workers or workers or working as per hourly hourly basis so let me just show you in tally you will be getting confused otherwise so i'll go into tally again i am in the payroll info menu you can go there from gateway of tally payroll info now here under the units work you can see attendance production type so go in there and select create for the first option and you will come here attendance type so this is also pretty easy and simple not many options are there so i've already created attendance and production types while creating the post so i'll just show you that you will be in the create option and then let me show you attendance leave with pay first so write the name attendance leave with pay this means this i have written uh, consciously or i know why i've written leave with pay because when there are two types of companies one is the company which cuts your pay when you take a leave another kind of companies which do not cut your pay when you take a leave from the company so when attendance leave with pay is selected as the attendance type i have selected here so that means your attendance will be considered even if you take some leaves so that's why i have created the name attendance leave with pay you can also create attendance leave without pay so you have to change the name to attendance leave without pay in case your company cuts the pay of the employees when they take leaves 
so there are certain leaves in the year for which they are paid so i have created that kind of attendance type here this is just the name so we can know by on the seeing at the attendance type that it is leaves with pay attendance type then press enter it will be under primary because we have not created any other cat production type or category here so it will be under primary and i have already used or you can say <laughs> have already used this attendance type in my voucher so it is not allowing me to change it let me just go in the create option go to create and let's say attendance i'll just change the name slightly so tally does not give me error so if i press enter so name already exists this error comes so what i'll do is change the name slightly live with page and show you so it will be attendance live with pay and select primary now in the list of attendance types you have to select attendance live with pay or if you are going to cut the salary of your employees then you have to select leave without pay that's it that's it's that simple and user defined calendar type if you want to define or select the calendar type according to your needs that is the number of days then you can select this option as well but i'll select just attendance leave with pay here and automatically the period type days will appear because as i said in the beginning that is already pre created in tally the days unit that we have created is only used for the production purposes or when we calculate the salary on the basis of the hours or days that we have calculated so i'll select no because i already created it now in the similar way let's show you how you can create the production type or attendance of production type so i'll go to alter and production type now in the name you have to write production so you can know that it is actually production you can write anything but it is good to write production so we can know by looking at the type itself then press enter it will be in the primary then you have to select production type so let me just go into create again once again and i will just write production and it will be under primary it will be production attendance type production select production here press enter and we have created a unit component days of 10 hours so select that and press accept so i've already created this unit but what i will do is delete this because we have two units with the same type so i'll delete the prod i am if you want to delete any unit just come to alter then go in there and press here alter plus d that is for delete or you can just simply click here delete and it will ask delete yes or no press enter to delete it so i've created and deleted our unit for work in tally so that's how you create attendance type and production type or two different types of attendance types now we will create pay heads in tally now this is something very crucial and important to know because whatever you create in the pay head will directly affect the salary of the employee in tally so we have already created production types now it is the time for pay heads so let's just go into the pay head option so in the payroll info go to pay heads and select create if you're creating for the first time i'll be explaining each and every option but i've already created the pay head so let me go to that created pay head and explain you what i have done so i've created two different types of pay heads basic salary for kajal if you remember in the first example we had two employees kajal and ajay so for kajal it is basic salary for ajay which is who is working in the production department that is production so kajal basic salary the name of the pay head i've kept kept it basic salary because again by looking at the name of the pay head i can know that this pay head is just for basic salary nothing else in tally we can create different pay heads for different kinds of incomes of the employees say for example an employee in your company gets a basic salary that is fixed basic salary plus a variable commission depending upon the sales that he makes or convert the clients so we can create another pay head named commission and add it to the salary of the employee by defining the details here so for every different kind of income of an employee or expense of an employee 
you can create different pay heads we can create we can also create different pay heads for different allowances given to employees for example if your employee takes his or her vehicle outside the company for the official work of the company then he gets paid the transport allowance or something like that so we can also create a different pay head for transport allowance for the worker and add it to the final salary of the employee while creating the voucher in tally i'll explain you the all these things when we create the voucher but for now just understand that we can create different pay heads for different kinds of incomes and expenses of employees for payroll in tally so name basic salary then it is the list of pay head types first option is pay head type so basic salary is actually earnings for employees because is earnings earning this you can also select bonus then deductions for employees if you are cutting the employee salary for any work done by him or any work that you don't want and still he has done so you can cut the salary that is deductions or there are other statutory deductions as well like professional tax and everything so you can select that if you are creating that kind of pay head in tally in payroll the pay, pay head means one kind of income or one kind of deduction for your employee so according to that you have to create different pay heads so once you create the pay heads you can use those pay heads for any of the employees not just one single employee so it is just one time setup then you can use them everywhere so statutory deductions there are there is another type then other charges contributions gratuity loans advances reimbursement tax paid by the employer on perquisites this is an income tax law requirement if you are into that then you can select that so currently it is earnings for employees basic salary that we are paying to kajal so earnings for employees income type you can select fixed or variable so it is fixed so i am selecting fixed now for us we are paying the salary as a company for us it is our direct expenses so we'll select direct expenses yeah. by the way if you are confused which uh, which option to select in the under option while creating ledgers as well this is the same scenario i've created a whole new long post with dif different types of categories with different types of ledgers and under that what you have to select in tally from this list i've created that table wise so you can go to that post and check out that how you can do that how to select that you can clear out your confusion this is actually an accounting concept this is not a tally concept that you are confused about the option of selecting in the under option so i'll link it down i'll link that post down in the description be sure to check that out it will clear all your confusion so whenever you create a new ledger you will not be confused what to select in the under option any more again if you go through that post and learn the process learn the concept behind it so i'll link it down in the description right now i will select direct expenses because it is our direct expenses because we are paying the salary to the employee affect net salary yes because it will increase the net salary of the employee then name to be displayed on pay slip basic salary so generally we create pay slips for the employee every month so the name that will be displayed on the pay slip it will be basic salary currency ledger it is rupees used for calculation in gratuity i have currently set it to no but but if in your company your employees you are paying gratuity and this is actually used for gratuity you can ask your ca or accountant from whomever you are filing your returns or if you know that it is included in the gratuity or not uh, it is according to the gratuity law if it is applicable to your company or not then you have to select yes or no right now we'll keep it to no for the simplicity purposes so set alter income tax details we'll keep it to no we'll see this income tax details in the later parts of this whole video series about payroll in tally this is the second part of that calculation type on attendance we can select on attendance on production flat rate user defined value as computed value but we'll select on attendance so on the number of days that the employee has attended the company or came to the company we will calculate a salary on that basis so and then in the list of attendant types it will be attendance live with pay this is we have created the attendance live with pay type so we'll select that which we have created and calculation period days we can see your days you can also select months if you want 
then you have to create 12 different entries but i'll select days so what it means is uh, we can enter the total number of days while creating the voucher entry for that payroll voucher entry for salary and then on the basis of days it will create uh, it will calculate the salary if we select the month then in that entry we have to enter the number of months that he has attended but days are a good way to calculate the total number of days yearly for an employee press enter rounding method you can select according to your need but i'll select not applicable and opening balance if there is any opening balance of the salary then enter that otherwise just press enter and save it so we have created one payhead for the, the employee kajal now we'll create another payhead named production for ajay because he is in the production department and the name is production now the options are almost the same except some options like calculation type and all so it is almost same the name is production because it is a production payhead it is earnings for employees fixed income type direct expenses for us affect net salary yes name on payslip production calculation of gratuity no income tax details we will see it later now when you come to the calculation type in the previous basic salary that we had created for kajal we had selected on attendance now we'll select on production so select that and then production type is production days of 10 hours so select that that's it that's the only change we have to make in this payhead in comparison to the previous payhead that we have created list of rounding methods not applicable and create it so we have created two different payheads for our employees as well so let's go back okay and let's enter in the payroll info menu in this video we have created units for work attendance production types and pay hats now in the next video we'll see salary details and income tax details of employees in tally and how you can enter them that is very easy in comparison to what we have seen right till now in these two both the parts so if you have watched this video till now or if you're watching this video till now i I literally I salute to your hunger for knowledge because most people will not come at this point to watch the video unless you're actually you actually want to learn something new about tally so thank you for watching this video till now and if you liked it subscribe to tally school channel I am uploading two videos daily uh, that is I'm publishing two videos daily one at 9 a.m. in the morning second 5 p.m. in the evening so you can watch two videos daily and if you have any questions, suggestions, comment down below and I'll reply to your comment. I'll take your comments into consideration. If you have any problem, then I will try to solve that problem as well. So subscribe to Tally School channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this video.